मैडम डायनामिक एस ओ क्यू एल डायनामिक एस ओ क्यू एल ओके लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट वी राइट डाउन एस ओ क्यू एल वेन वी नो विच फील्ड वी वॉन्ट टू क्वेरी फ्रॉम विच ऑब्जेक्ट यू वॉन्ट टू क्वेरी एंड वॉट इज द कंडीशन राइट कंडीशन वैल्यू कैन बी चेंज बाई एस ओ क्यू एल वेरियबल बाइंडिंग बट वी नो वट द कंडीशन इज वी नो वट विच फील्ड यू वॉन्ट टू क्वेरी वी नो विच फ्रॉम विच ऑब्जेक्ट यू वॉन्ट टू क्वेरी दैट but what if we have created a page in which the user selects that i want these 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 fields and i want this condition to be applied and show me the result according it can be like that right yes or no so the user is selecting i want this field this field this field no i don't want this field i want it from this object and uh, like i like the fees should be greater than this so in that case a developer will always be sitting and writing the code according to what the user is selecting is that what what's going to happen no the query should get created automatically according to the user's input this is what we want so if there are five fields that user wants then in that case select name comma all those five fields should be specified automatically if there are only three fields that the user wants then in that case those three fields should be specified automatically in that particular query right so how are we going to do that With the help of dynamic SQL, in dynamic SQL we can generate the SQL at runtime, and we can execute it at at runtime, right? Normally, when we write down uh, a query, we always uh, write it down like this: select name from opportunity or something like that so this object is always like predefined the fields api like the uh, the field list is always predefined the only thing that can be changed is is greater than over here you can just write down the static value or you can use a variable variable in which the value is there right if the value inside this d is uh, 4000 then it will compare it with 4000 if the value is 50000 then it will compare it with 50000 so the only thing that is dynamic in an sql query is the where clause value or the value with which you want to compare it into the where clause nothing else but what if i want to make this complete query as dynamic i can do that with dynamic sql and let me tell you how we are going to do that so there is a method called as database dot query inside which if you are going to pass a string it will execute that uh, query and it will return the same result as of uh, like as if this query is getting executed inside the square bracket so if i'll execute this select name from account in a square bracket it will give me a result if i want that same result uh, with with the help of dynamic sql i need to uh, take the help from database dot query method and inside that i just need to pass that string and can a string be modified according to run time yes it can be let me explain to you So first, what we need to understand. So first, what we need to understand is uh, this. Uh, like, first, what we what we need to understand is database dot query method. There is a method database dot query inside which we need to pass a string, and that will return a uh, return the same result as if that string would have uh, executed into a square bracket. That's what it is. Now, next thing. creating the query string dynamically can we create a string dynamically according to the list that we are getting or according to the values that we are getting yes or no we can definitely do that so over here i am creating a string dynamically first i have written down qr select id so i always want id right and after this what i want is there is a array of fields that i am creating or array of a uh, string that i am creating in which i am going to store the different fields which i want if i want five fields then in that case i'm going to add five uh, fields name inside that array or inside that list 
if i want 3 fields i will add 3 into that list if i want 20 fields i'll add 20 into that list so yeah coming back to this field list dot add name field list dot add number of employees field list dot add phone that's what it is so i've created all these three fields and the uh, next thing that i'm doing is string object name and now i have executed this for each loop which is going to append every field which is name number of employees phone to this particular query which started with select id so initially it was select id now after this qr plus equals to that means qr is equals to qr plus so select id comma what is the first value in uh, this array name so select id comma name and then again this loop will execute then comma number of employees comma phone so the the, uh, the like in the qr after the execution of this qr will have qr is equals to right and after this qr is equals to because in object name there is right so this is the complete query which got created now and i have created this complete query in a string format right at the run time is this string got created imagine this object name is coming as a parameter to me over here and imagine this field list is coming as an array to you as a parameter so if it is coming like if the object name is coming from the user and if the field list is also coming from the user i can use this same program in order to create a query dynamically and what i mean dynamically is at the run time at the run time i'm creating the query if the user has given me 10 fields then this query will have 10 fields if the user has given me 5 fields then this query will have 5 fields if the user haven't given any field to me then it will only show id right so and if the user has given me account then it will uh, this query will be fired on account if the user has given me query on student or uh, selected the object student and given me given me some other fields i mean if if the user is going to select student object then uh, uh, like if user is going to select the student object then the field list which will come will be corresponding to the student object's fields not to the account object's field and this complete query will be created at run time that is dynamically and at the end what I'll, what i'll have to do is database dot query qr and this will return the list over here is it clear to everyone so this is how you create a dynamic soql or a dynamic query or a query at run time so as input you'll always write down a dynamic soql is it clear everyone write it down if you want i think you should clear done okay now let's talk about query exception so if there is any problem in this particular query like let's say over here i've written down select name comma phone number from account so there is no phone number field in account object and if i'm going to execute this query this will throw a query exception right at run time it will throw a query exception that's what's going to what what is going to happen so so you have to uh, I mean, yeah. You you actually have to take care of a lot of things while creating a uh, an SQL query dynamically. Because if anything goes wrong, if, even if there is no comma, the complete query will throw a query exception. Even if you uh, forgot to given uh, like, even if you forget to write down space uh, between from and the last field, there is an error because the query doesn't make any sense and uh, makes sense anymore. can you write down a single uh, sql query onto multiple objects 
it's the same it's the same thing whatever you write down inside the square bracket is the same thing that you have to write down over here in this clear everyone okay and there's one more thing that uh, you'll have to take care of before uh, so before sending the query uh, inside the database dot query method you'll have to uh, write down this data uh, like string dot escape single quotes and uh, remove all the single quotes inside the SQL query if there are any let me tell you why right okay so do you guys know about SQL injection or SQL inject injection or SQL injection if you do not know about it let me explain it to you so while we write down the queries, we ask the user to select the, uh, like to select the where clause and everything. So there is, S there's a very simple SQL injection, like one is equals to single quotes one or uh, one, something like that. So whatever field name that you're gonna uh, give over here, I mean, yeah, something similar to this, like let's say, uh, Where the fees is equals to, or let's say, whenever you enter username and password, after password, I, if I'll just write down this, no matter what password I'm entering, if in the password field, if I'm gonna enter this one uh, single code, single code or one, uh, no matter whether I'm, what is your password, I'm still gonna be able to log in into that portal uh, because in SQL what happens is this is evaluated as true this complete is evaluated as true see this is false no problem but this is true getting it so at the end what the uh, so like when 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 the SQL query compares the username username equals to this and password equals to what the user is entering but at the end you write down or one or one equals to one, let's say. That's a better one. Or one equals to one. That's it. That's a simple SQL injection. With the help of which, like, uh, that's the reason we need, uh, I mean, yeah, that's the, that's the reason we need experienced developers who know about all of these things. I mean, if there is someone who is a rookie who is creating an application just like this and comparing the password with, uh, with the SQL query, then in that case, if I'll just write down this colon one or one equals to one. And in that case, I'll be able to log in into that particular uh, portal or particular website, no matter what the password. Is. So there is a, uh, there's always a check of SQL injection inside the program while we're comparing something, right? So like, so uh, like now at this time, what we're doing is we're writing down the query according to the user's input. And whenever there is a user's input, there, is, there might be a loophole through which user can enter into your database and get the information, get all the information. So in order to stop that, uh, what we need to do is, we need to use this escape single quotes method, which is a static method of string object, which will remove all the single quotes. And once it will remove all the single quotes, the complete thing like this complete is gonna be treated as a string and it will not get compared and there will be no problem. Getting it? So whenever, like it, it should be a habit. Whenever you're writing down uh, database.query or whenever you're writing down dynamic SOQL, you'll always have to uh, like pass this, or you'll ha always have to use this escape single quotes uh, onto the uh, string uh, that you want to, I mean, uh, that you want to execute as a dynamic SOQL. And then only you pass it into the database.query method. Clear to everyone? How this dynamic SQL works and what is the use of escape single quotes?